Welcome to the Friday Night Sports Show. I'm Cody Feldman here with Jonathan Gold. And today, for Season 2, Episode 1, we have a very special guest, Christian Sarkeesy from the football team. How you doing? Good. Thank you guys for having me. So, Christian, opening game of the season, played Uniondale, huge 46-0 win. How does the team feel after such a dominating start to the season? Obviously, we feel great after a big win like that, you know. We've been working all off season to, you know, really be different this year. And to come out and make a statement like that feels really good. Not just the team's performance, going into your performance, you put up 179 rushing yards and three touchdowns. How do you think your performance is going to continue throughout the season? You know, I'd say the expectation and the hope is to just keep that going. Not just me, but, you know, all those plays aren't possible without all the blockers on the O-line, the receivers, tight ends. You know, we all have to come together and execute to make those plays happen. You know, the hope is that we'll keep doing that throughout the season. Now, the team put up some solid performances last season, but so far, even though it has only been one game, we've seen a significant offensive jump. Can you talk us a little through the uh, work you put in in the offseason to get to the point where you're running all over defenses? Yeah, so me personally, you know, it's been hitting the weight room, doing agility. But then, you know, other guys in the offense, we have a lot of returning starters like myself, um, Harry Behan who was injured, but now, you know, he's been on varsity for three years now, Shanahan. And then we have coming back from injury, Owen Kirsch. And then obviously you have our new uh, quarterback, Harry Einan. So, you know, some new faces, some old faces, but we all, you know, know what we're doing. We all work hard. You know, it's really translating to our gameplay. The next game, you guys are taking Hicksville in their home territory. What should we really expect from the team coming up against us in the South coming matchup? I'd say, you know, expect something similar to last Friday night. Um... I think we're the stronger team, but obviously we have to go out and execute, and we can't start off slow, you know. you got to hit the ground running and really just give it to them early. You mentioned Harry Behan. Last season, before he got injured, he was playing quarterback. Now he's made the transition to a receiving role uh, with Harry Allen coming in and playing quarterback. How has the chemistry been with a new quarterback and also a new receiver out there? I think it's been really good, you know. Even though it's Allen's first year, he's just, you know, stepped right in, and he's been playing great. Um, and as for Behan, you know, he played receiver his sophomore year, so he knows what he's doing out there. And, you know, it's been looking really good. Even though the Vikings are a predominantly senior team, what are some new faces that we should be looking out for on the field? So, you know, like you said, we have a lot of seniors. I think it's around 30. Um, a lot of us are, you know, played last year, most of us actually. I think we have like one or two new ones. Sebastian LaRusse is one of them. You know, he got some time on the, on the D line last game. And then, um, you know, we have guys like James Kinsey, had a great game at the end, a couple sacks. And then as for, you know, underclassmen, um, the sophomore class this year is really strong. Obviously, we got kids like Einan up there, and his brother's also on varsity max. And then we got running back Joe Fox and a, a lineman, James McCormick, who had a really great game the other night. So, yeah, we do have a lot of seniors, but we also have a lot of young talent for the future. Talking about a lot of talent, the NFL has a lot of running talent. For someone who might have missed the first game against Uniondale, that great performance, could you maybe compare your running style, your play style, to someone of the NFL, player comp? You know, I haven't really thought about that much, but, you know, uh, I just saw a post today by LA Sports Fanatic comparing myself to uh, Travis Etienne. So, you know, he probably knows better than I do. The Student Hill did make a return. And one of the clips that our, one of our cameramen, uh, Cal Lundberg, he got – if you're running into the end zone and celebrating with the students, how is that really going to translate to bringing a home field advantage and also people potentially coming from poor to away games? You know, having support like that from our town is a really big thing. You know, to have that many people at a game getting hyped up for us, you know, coming out to watch us, it gives us a lot of boost and confidence and it gets us even more fired up than we already are. So, yeah, having people come to away games would be huge for us. I know you're probably taking it one game at a time, but on September 28th, you do have the homecoming game. Can you talk a little bit about how excited you are, uh, what you want to see from fans on that day? Yeah, obviously we're really excited. We're expecting a crowd similar to what we have Friday night, maybe even bigger. Because, you know, last year we were kind of gypped out of that experience because, you know, bad weather on homecoming it wasn't a really big crowd. But, yeah, we're definitely really excited. Do you have some rivalry matches more towards the end of the season? You guys are taking on Massapequa. Instead of playing in Port, you guys are going to Massapequa. And then on senior night, you guys take on Oceanside. What should we really expect from the rivalry matchups this year? You know, teams like Farmingdale and Massapequa, we played them every year. Played them last year. You know, didn't go our way. But this year, you know, we're looking to put up a strong fight and probably win one. And then as for Oceanside, we haven't played them since, I want to say, two years ago. 
and, you know, they're a really strong team. They just came out and beat Massapequa week one. So we got our work cut out for us, and we got to really prepare for those big games. Christian, I don't know if you know much about this show, but usually after we're done with our questions, we send it over to the studio for them to ask a question. So here comes our studio question from Zach Nash. I'd have to say Brees Hall, running back for the New York Jets. Um, I'm a Jets fan myself, and, you know, I play running back. So, yeah, he's one of my favorite players. Christian, we wish you the best of luck in the rest of the season. Ho hoping for mo many more three-touchdown games. And uh, for everyone at home, thank you for all tuning into this episode. Cody Feldman here with Jonathan Gold, and we'll see you next week.